the book of Proverbs, the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to discern the words of understanding, to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young man, that the wise man may hear and increase learning, that the man of understanding may attain to sound counsel, to understand the proverb and parables, the words and riddles of the wise. God bless you. My name is Harris Kekalides, and you're watching here in the program, Getting to Know Jesus. And today we're going to study Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 to 6. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, the king of Israel. As we saw in our last study of, on Proverbs, Solomon is not the only writer of the book of Proverbs. But Hagar and King Lamel and others can be included in the list. <coughs> In these first nine chapters, we can assume Solomon to be the author of verses 8 of chapter 1 and Proverbs 6 verse 20. My son, hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake the law of your mother. In the first verse, we are prepared to follow the advice of a father to a son or a son to his own son for the first nine chapters are the advice of a father would give to his son even though a woman can interpret them as a mother to her daughter example a man in the bible could mean both could mean a male and a female but for it to speak specifically to her, she could she could do that. I once bought a Bible in the thrift store, and I saw the person who had the Bible before me did that next to the strange woman. Put the the strange man, she, and next to the word son, she put the word daughter. So the Bible could speak specifically to her heart, and there's some occasion that people have to do that. Now. Proverbs 1 verse 2 says to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding and to know means information to know wisdom and instructions both wisdom and instruction in English means the same both has to do with application but not in the Hebrew the word that is used for instruction means discipline chastising correction and wisdom in Hebrew means skill. Through the book of Proverbs, God wants us to know how to apply what we know and to live a life of discipline, chastising, and correction. The Bible states that if God does not chastise or disciplines us, we are not his children. Hebrews 12 verse 8 to 10. For if you are without discipline, whereof all have been made partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Furthermore, we had the fathers of our flesh to chasten us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live? For they indeed, for a few days, punished us as seemed good to them, but he for our profit, that we may be partakers of his holiness. And one of the way God does this is through his word and suffering that we face the verse continues and states to perceive the words of understanding collins cold bill english dictionary states about perceive if you perceive something you see notice or realize it especially when it is not obvious there are many things in god's words that are in paradoxes and we have to ponder in faith what does God wants us to learn from this passage, even if it seems like a contradiction. Example of this could be found in Proverbs, Proverbs 26, verse 4 and 5. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. This is a proverb which sounds like a contradiction but is not it is a paradox it 
is there to make us perceive and think. What does God mean by don't answer him and answer him? My guess is there is a time that we should not answer a fool. And there is a time to answer him. You don't answer him if you would fall in the same contradiction as him. But you do answer him if it is to rebuke him. Proverbs 1 verse 3 says to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, equality. The ESV Bible uses the word instruction of wise dealing instead of instruction of wisdom because the words in Hebrew are different. God wants us to be wise in our dealings, to do things with justice, what is right, to use our common sense in things. Spurgeon says in his morning and evening devotion of May 5th, states about wisdom this, wisdom is man's true strength and under its guidance he best accomplishes the purpose of his assistance. Wisely handling the matter of life gives to man the richest enjoyment and presents the noblest occupation for his powers. Hence, he finds good by it in the fullest sense. Without wisdom, man is as the wild donkey's cult, running here and there, wasting strength, which might be profitable employed. Wisdom is the compass by which man is to steer across the trackless waste of life. Let's continue. Equity is the quality of being fair and reasonable in a way that gives equal treatment to everyone. In our life dealing, we have to treat people in a way that is fair and reasonable. This is what God commands of us in the book of Proverbs. To give prudence to the simple. The book of Proverbs is meant to give good judgment to those who are gullible. If they follow the steps in the book of Proverbs, they will have good judgment and won't be tricked so easily. To the young man, knowledge and discretion. To those who are young, they are told they will receive knowledge and discretion. Discretion is the quality of behaving in a quiet and controlled way without drawing attention to yourself or giving away personal or private information. This is surely something that the youth needs. A wise man will hear and increase learning. For those who seek to know more, the book of Proverbs provides this in great measure. Proverbs 9 verse 9 Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. A man of understanding will attain wise counsel. Proverbs helps us give good advice. To understand a proverb and enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. Proverbs is safe to say is also a book of of parables or dark sayings. Just as Jesus spoke in parables so at first glance no one understood it, so is Proverbs. At first glance one might think they have the understanding of it, but later on when one reads it again or does a deep study on it, one will find a different meaning to it, which most likely is the true meaning. Proverbs is like that. At first glance, you might think you know it. You might think you know the answer. But then, when you read it again, this doesn't mean this. This means this. And that's the way Proverbs is. God bless you, and I'll see you next program of Getting to Know Jesus.